you know, I find myself being continually stunned when my husband acts in a way that is less than perfect. Because at a subconscious level, I mean, I wouldn't really say this out loud except for the purposes of this recording, I kind of expect him to be, well, pretty much perfect because he's a Christian, uh, you know, he's trying to follow Jesus. My goodness, he's even a pastor. So, so I guess I'm just stunned whenever he isn't perfect. And yet, maybe I should take to heart a scripture in Psalm 14:3, where God says, there is no one who does good, not even one. So why do we subconsciously expect our husbands to be perfect and notice all these flaws and get all upset and, and maybe depressed and grumpy about their flaws? They have flaws and so do we, so does everyone. Even that person at work that you think, man, I wish I was married to him, or even the pastor you're thinking, oh, I wish I was married to him. I bet you his wife is really happy being married to him. Well, guess what? He has flaws too because there is no one who does good, not even one. There isn't a perfect human being on this earth. So maybe we should let our husbands off the hook. Maybe, maybe we should decide to be gracious and overlook some of those annoyances. I mean, I'm not talking about major sin here. If your husband is sinning against you, verbally abusive, viewing pornography, you know, that kind of thing, you do need to confront, confront him. Matthew 18 verses 15 through 17, that's a section of scripture where Jesus gives instruction on what to do if someone is sinning against you. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about these things that just drive you nuts, they annoy you, maybe even little flaws in character, but don't we all have some flaws in our character? Really? For me, it's like, my husband is an aggressive driver. Can you relate to that? <laughs> I, know some, I know some wives can relate to that. It drives me nuts that he's such an aggressive driver. But you know what? If that's the worst thing, maybe I could just let that go. Maybe I can choose not to focus on the little flaws and be gracious as God is gracious toward me.